Hey guys, this is <clears throat> Eskimo Poodle, and we're back. Let's play Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age on the PC. Last time we went around, uh, actually, we killed Elizarin, uh, one of the spectral, spe spectral sentinels, and got ourselves, I do believe it was the Red Orb. Yeah. So, that was a fun fight. You had to make sure you had your electricity available. I think Zap Spells would have done pretty good damage too, but since we just have the Great Sword Lightning stuff, it worked out pretty well. And then we did a whole bunch of side quests, primarily of the Nautica and Lunalulu variety. So, neat help. Speaking of which, uh, the Sovereign Seal that we got from... Was it, was it Sovereign Seal? I think this was what we got from that quest that we did. Yeah, Ice and Dark Redamage Reduction, so not too bad. A little bit of defense, a little bit of charm. Not, not horrible, not great. So, there we go. And we got some recipes. Uh, I made a couple of things for the recipes. The Mithril Helm which will sell for 10000 and then the uh, Dancer's Plate, which we could probably give that to Jade, really, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see. Unless her Agility Gillette has... Okay, that has Charm, which is nice, but at the same time, gives her Evasion. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we lose the Agility, which, frankly, I'm not terribly worried about. But let's see here. Uh, 53 defense versus 77 defense plus the evasion chance. Uh, nah, I think she'll be fine. I'll, I'll just sell that. I just made them from the recipes we had. Uh, and speaking of the recipes, uh, I forgot that there was a couple recipes that we've had the ability to make since we've got to the casino, and I've just forgotten to make the damn things. I don't think there's anything in here we care about unless you want to make, like, the claws. Or anything like that, uh, which, frankly, I'm not terribly worried about. Let's see, the blood letter is... Oh, yeah, one of those. 12% instant kill and attack. Uh, sadly, I don't think it works on metal slimes, so there's really not that big of a point to it. Uh, yeah, that's all we need there. Uh, let's see. Armor-wise, though, that's what we're looking for. Because there is some... Let's see. Queen's Robe. That gives Magical Might of Mending. That'll be good for the ladies when they come back. But really, what we're looking for here... Let's see. No, that's good. Uh, let's see. Where is it? The Glad Rags. Yeah, we can make this for Savando. It's not going to have anywhere near as much charm as his current outfits, but it has pretty good defense and evasion. I'm probably just going to end up selling the thing once I make it. Uh, and also, it's part of a part of an outfit form. Uh, previously, we couldn't make it because we didn't have access to the love potions that we could only buy at the casino for a little while there. So let's go ahead and do our best. It is a three and a half star, so it might cause a couple issues, but honestly, I'm probably just going to end up selling the damn thing, so... Halved. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I'll probably just end up selling it, even if it doesn't... Yeah, okay, doubled, that's fine. Yeah, we're not going to get a terribly... Great workout on this, sadly. Bit too much of a pain in the ass to actually finish. Okay, so it'll turn out. At the very least, it will come out, so that's nice. Again, I just want it for the outfit purposes, and then I'll probably just sell it off. Blood rags. And then there was another piece here that we could make for Mr. Silvando here. Uh, let's see, where is it at? The Tiara Tremenda, which is also part of the... Oh, no, this is for Jade. No. Wait, hang on. What am I... What, what the heck? Which one am I... Okay, so, for some reason, I was very confused there, and I thought that was for Jade. I think the uh, Tiara uh, part threw me off there for a minute. Uh, this will actually be a solid upgrade with the charm and the ability... Sealing and sleep protection and stuff like that. Spell sealing is okay, but not necessarily what we care about. If we can get this up to a nice little... A nice little number, that'll be nice. 
Okay, I didn't mean to freaking chisly pop there, but whatever. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, here we go. That's nice. Beautiful. And perfect. Double whammy up top. No, we probably could use another one actually. See, that will turn out really well. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That'll be a plus two, so that's good enough for me. Plus two. Bueno. Awesome. Yeah, I forgot to make these things uh, when we actually had a chance to make them earlier. So, oh well. Uh, let's see, the shields and stuff we're good on. Most of this other stuff I don't really care about. And then accessories, I don't think there's a whole lot that we cared about there either. Sorcerer's Stone, that gives a little bit of a magic boost right there, which is honestly not bad, especially for somebody like Rab. And we could just buy gold ore several places, so yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and buy the gold ore, just make this real fast. Same thing with like the Dencinium. I could look up where it's at, but yeah, I think, yeah, I think we'll just uh, hold off on the Dencinium one though, from the last episode. Not really necessary. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go for a regular quadra bash. I think the cut quadra would have been a bit much. Ah, uh, okay. Good stuff. All right, and we got enough for the lightning bashes here. Double. Not quite what I was hoping for there. There we go. And that'll turn out... Okay, plus two. Good enough. We get a couple... Pearls back, so... Frankly, that's fine by me. That'll give Rab a slight little boost to his multi-heal and his... crack, which will be quite useful. So... Let's see, Silvando, you have yourself a snazzy new superstar outfit. Looks very uh, patriotic. I still think the head turner is a pretty nice little set for him. Very formal. I like it. Let's see, and then... Grab, we're going to go ahead and get rid of... Yeah, let's get rid of the Ring of Riddance and instead go for a Sorcerer's Stone, which gives you a nice little boost right there. Yeah, there we go. That's the good stuff. And I think everyone else is good to go. We have that other spear for Jade if we need it. Everyone else is looking okay. Eric, uh, you'll be getting back your stuff eventually, but for now, not terribly worried about it. I am going to go ahead and sell off those... Glad rags and stuff, since... Actually, no, I do want the TR Tremenda for... For, uh... Savando there. But yeah, let's sell off this Mithril stuff that I made, just primarily for the purpose of getting money, so... Uh, let's see, Silver Tiara, I don't think we care about you. Yeah. Bye. Zombie Mail, I don't think we can ever get this again. Alright, so Vondo, let's go ahead and give you that tiara for whatever reason. Okay, so we lose this very slight amount of defense. If we manage to get it up a little bit, we'd gain a one point of defense, but we do end up with not that much more charm, but we do end up with the extra the extra status protections on the bottom there, so that's nice. And then let's see, does see 38 and 56 curse protection do you like the platinum headgear no it's actually the same pretty much actually the hate sound would be better if we got it up there oh well let's see you have the metal slime helm which is good for the status stuff 
You're good. Okay, I think we're set then. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here, and our goal is to head to Sniffleheim, or the piratey area. We could go do stuff at, like, Hoto. Uh, the problem with that, though, in my opinion, is you'd have to deal with Eric not being at full strength. So, there's that. Okay, so... Hmm. I think the closest we're going to get... An Octagonia is kind of close, but at the same time, not really. I think I'll just warp over to the Strand, and then I'll just uh, I'll sail off-screen to the top near the, that little light that we have to go sail into and actually get to the area. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're right next to the light to get us into where we need to go. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Let's go ahead and go through the shiny light under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. And yeah, uh, we get past the little golden iceberg there. But if we look over to the side, uh, from when we were sailing in there, there's another golden iceberg there, and another golden iceberg there. So... Uh, real fast, let's go ahead and go to the Pirate's Cove real fast, just to grab this as a warp point. Or it won't let us in. Okay, fair enough. Actually, yeah, I think we're going to have to go there for a story beat in a little bit, so... Okay, fair enough. Stippleheim. What's going on? My heart's beating like crazy. <sighs> the fall of Yggdrasil has changed everything. It's more than likely Sniffleheim didn't escape unscathed. Which is why I think we'd better check in on Queen Frizabel before we head off to Arborea. That all right with you? Right. We're away to the castle to see the Queen. While we're at it, why don't you lot take a look around town and make sure everything's okay? <sighs> What's the matter, Eric? You look like you've seen a ghost, lad. It's nothing. I'm fine. You want us to take a look around town, right? I I'm all over it. Uh, and second thoughts, you're coming with us. You're in no fit state to be wandering around on your own. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a burden. Come on now, laddie. This isn't like you. Chin up, eh? A stroll to the castle will do you the power of good. Huh. Eric seems to have forgotten that he does not like being over here in Stiffelheim, since that was his thing the last time I was here. See, I think if we try to go too far over this way, uh, we'll find out that it's blocked off by another golden iceberg at some point. Let's see. Yeah, so you can see the golden icebergs on both of the paths leading out here. So, uh, let's see, any couple new monsters and a couple new sparkly spots. Uh, new sparkly spots up there, though, so I'm not terribly worried about it. We'll worry about the monsters and stuff around here later. For now, let's just uh, go back this way. So, you can't actually leave for Arborea here until you take care of the, side, uh, the main quest beat here. At least the front door's not blocked, so that's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that we have our little setup over here. I think this guy has some um, good stuff at his shop right now. So let's check on that. Soulbreaker, which is pretty solid on the physical attack for the dagger right there. 12% chance to reduce enemies attack power. That's not bad. I will go ahead and buy one of those. Why not? 
And I see a whip, ice shield. Uh, we're not actually going to be worried about ice damage, surprisingly, for right now. So I'm not terribly concerned about it. Let's see, we got some stuff we can buy. Magic Beast Horns. Um, let's buy a couple of these just to have them. Why not? And I think... That should be most of what I care about. Mithril Ore, if you care to buy it yourself, instead of like winning it or finding it somewhere. So, that's awesome. That's the main thing we cared about. Alright, let's go ahead and rest up and go check out the town. Let's actually enter through the main entrance this time, since the first time we came here, we took the roundabout path. And we should have access to a nice little... Let's see, we need a, we need to find a girl here for a side quest, so, if you go up to the courtyard there, uh, there will be a scene, uh, so we're going to avoid that for now. Let's see, if we look at the quest catalog, let's see, we have somewhere in Stifelheim, okay. We just got to figure out, uh, doors are locked tight, okay. Hopefully they don't lock everything off. Okay, so apparently they might lock everything off. Actually, yeah, they, yeah, I think we're going to have to go do the um, the area coming up before they let us do anything. Ah, I forgot about that. Curses. And no sparkly spots except for the permasnow. Yeah, everyone's all inside and stuff. Uh, how you doing, Cal? You're doing okay? Alright. Uh, don't leave me any presents, please. I thought the main square would be the best place to gather information, but there's not a single townsperson to be seen. I hear them whispering inside their homes, and no matter how loudly I knock, they refuse to open their doors. What in heaven's name has happened here? Well, we can but continue to search the city. You must do the same at the castle. Uh, where's the rest of the, uh, the crew? Oh, there you are. I thought the harbor seemed quiet, but this is something else entirely. It looks like all the villagers have shut themselves up inside their houses and locked the doors. I wonder what they're so scared of. I'm going to keep looking around town. You and Rab should head to the castle. Perhaps Queen Frisbell will be more forthcoming than her subjects. Uh, there's some guards. Where are Rab and Eric? Do I care about the punish? No, probably not. This here, so why not? Oh. Uh, they might actually be hanging out like near the docks or something. Let's go see if they're there and have anything to say. Uh, Mr. Bunnies, you're in the way. I mean, even if they have anything to say, it's nothing terribly important. Uh, by the way, remember this spot for about 10 or 15 minutes from now. Just remember it for the very near future. Sometime in this episode, remember it for then. Alright, there's Dave. I have no idea where Eric and Rab are hiding out at. Unless I missed them over here somewhere. Oh, there's Savando. I forgot you existed. You remember when we were here last, darling? The city was hustling and bustling like nobody's business. Now there's hardly a soul to be seen. They're all cooped up inside their homes and they won't come out and play. It's almost as if they're not over the moon to see us. I mean, well, we're like dancing superstars, so why don't they like us? Or at least you're a dancing superstar. So, they should be very happy to see you. Yeah, I don't know where Rab and Eric went, so... Oh, well. Ah, you were the traveler who came here once before, are you not? I'm glad to see you well. Her Majesty's been very concerned for your safety. You must go inside and see her. Truth be told, our kingdom is currently beset by a terrible plague. If you could let the Queen know that you are unharmed, it would be one less thing for her to worry about. I swore to keep Her Majesty safe from harm, but how can I defend her against the disease whose origins escape even our wisest scholars? I wish I could hide inside the castle until this all blows over, but the captain has put me on guard duty again. The guard's life is a hard life. Sorry, kid. Can we go down to, like, here? This is, this is the Queen's room, right? Yeah, that's, that's the Queen's room, so nothing we care about there. I want to see if we can go back down here. The lift down to the dungeons is currently off limits. Forgive me, but I cannot let you pass. Believe me, it is for your own safety. The wicked witch Crystalinda is in prison down there. She may be the one behind this plague. Oh, so Crystalinda is back up to her, her old ways, huh? There's a shock. 
You will find Queen Frisabelle in her throne room. It is the grand hall to the rear of the castle. She is deeply troubled about the disaster that is unfolding across her realm. If there's anything you can do to help, it would be greatly appreciated. Alright, let's give it a shot. Welcome in, Traveler. Are you here to see the Queen? Then please, proceed up the stairs. I'm sure she'll be overjoyed to see you safe and well. Glad to hear it. Uh, yeah. No, that's not Rab, that's, uh, Snorri and the advisor. Yeah, I don't know where Rab and Eric head out at. Oh, well. Ah, how good it is to see you alive and well, friend. Have you already met with Queen Fisabelle? I'm currently hard at work studying the strange plague that is spreading around Stiffelheim. Please, you must talk to Her Majesty. She, is, she will be able to tell you more. If you wish to know what is happening in our kingdom, speak with Her Majesty. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Cheer up, Your Majesty. It might never happen. What's got you looking so glum? <gasps> <laughs> Lord Rab! And your friends, too. I am so happy to see you safe and well. Aye, the feeling's very much mutual. A lot's happened since last we met. Indeed. Yggdrasil has fallen. The world has been covered in darkness. Gold fever ravages my kingdom. But we survived. Some were not so lucky. What's that now? Gold fever? Is there something going on around these parts we should know about? There is. It all began a few weeks ago, you see. A strange disease started to spread across Sniffelheim. It affects people, animals, even plants. Anyone or anything that catches it turns entirely to gold. To gold? We don't know what causes it or how to cure it. So every one of my poor subjects lives in fear of being struck down next. I tried to send for help, but every route out of the kingdom is blocked by great golden obstacles. We are completely cut off. My dear friend Kristalinda was studying the illness to try to find a cure, but in their panic, my people suspected her of spreading it instead. For her own safety, I was forced to lock her away in the dungeons. I have tried to tell my subjects she is innocent, but they simply will not listen. They are blinded by fear. This awful disease has turned my kingdom upside down. There, there, your majesty. Then he looks a crestfallen. We'll get to the bottom of this for you. Oh, thank you. You are always so very kind to me. I will let everybody in the city know that you are here to help, and that they must help you in turn. Take care, dear friends. Hmm. Gold. Why gold? I mean, why not gold? Sounds like something uh, King Midas from, you know, old fairy tales and shit would get up to. I don't think he's in this game, but... Also, I get why they're distrustful of Crystalinda. I mean, yeah, she's apparently turned over a new leaf, but before that, she kind of tried to encase the entire city in ice, so... Yeah. It's almost time for my fellow maid's shift to begin. She should be here at any moment. She's an older lady, but ever such a hard worker. Even in these troubled times, she has never missed a shift. She must have cleaning fever. Well, it's better than gold fever, apparently. And if we go down here, you'll, we'll find Crystalinda down in the, the jail cell. We can go talk to her. So, let's see what she has to say about all this. I don't think we care about that. We care about over here. Gonna ignore the guards since you don't have anything I care about. You doing okay in there, Crystalinda? 
Ah, so how nice of you to visit. Don't worry, you won't catch anything from me. I have nothing to do with that ridiculous gold fever. When you were a witch, people will insist on blaming you for everything. With good reason, I suppose. If it makes them feel better, I'll play along. Anyway, enough about me. There's something you must know. Gold fever is no ordinary illness. I've used enough black magic in my time to recognize its hallmarks. It's not a plague. It's more akin to a curse. Whoever crafted this magic is more powerful than I ever was. Only you, Luminary, have the strength to stop them. I'm probably the last person you would want to do a favor for. But please, for Frissy's sake, find this person and break this curse. We're all counting on you. Okay. So, it's definitely... It's definitely probably going to be one of the, like, um... Uh, spectral Sentinels that Mordigan has lying around. Yeah, we still can't get to you. I feel like if we had Veronica, we'd just stuff her through the bar and she'd grab him. You know, she's tiny enough. Sadly, Veronica is currently MIA with her sister, so not a whole lot we can do about that. You can probably guess where we'll find the two of them. I mean, pretty much. Only a couple places for them to be, really. Alright, let's go outside and see if we can actually talk to any townspeople now. They might have started reappearing, or they might just wait till after we finish everything. Ah, oh, there you are. Is everything alright? Mm, not exactly. You see, the Queen seemed awful sad, mm. and she told us about this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Ah! Hello there, madam. Do you have a minute to talk to us? We'd like to ask you a few questions. Do I have a minute, he asks. How can I know when every second might be my last? You do well to leave this place before you turn to gold, too. <gasps> Wait, I know you. You're that boy, Eric. You... you know me? Oh, don't be silly. Everyone in Sniffleheim knows you. You're the... <gasps> oh, no! This can't be happening! Uh, uh... <gasps> What's the matter, dear? Uh, are you okay? It's... it's... Got me. <gasps> I take it this is a case of gold fever. It's horrible. Eric, honey, are you okay? Tell me where it hurts. Eric? Huh? I heard a commotion and came running. I never thought that I would find you here. Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. And I fear he's taken a blow to the head somewhere along the way. He doesn't remember a thing about his life before then. Oh, my poor child. Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. Come to the church by the city gates, and I will tell you what I know of his past. <sighs> We're just gonna leave the uh, the old maid here, or what? <clears throat> we should probably tell the uh, maiden here that her replacement is gonna be late by quite a lot. Long past the time at which my friend was due to begin her cleaning shift, but she has yet to show her face. It's not as if she has some kind of flighty flipper to give it. She is an old lady who has never missed a day's work in her life. I do hope nothing has happened to her. Yeah, uh, about that. If Sol had a voice still that he seemed to have lost in his childhood, he could tell her that, you know, uh, it's not gonna happen, but I don't think it's 
going to happen here. We still can't do anything about the shops, I think. Oh, no, we can. Good. Cool. In that case, let's see what you guys got. Uh, choker riddance, that's for curses, which, not bad. Uh, but I think we have one or two of those. And that's all you really have that I care about. I'm surprised you don't have any holy water, which I could probably use a couple of, since I think I have like nine right now. Alright, let's go ahead and check in on the weapons and armors. We already robbed these guys blind for their life savings in the chest behind the counter the last time we were here, so I'm not terribly worried about anything else. Uh, let's see, Icicle Dirk, Starcross, which is pretty solid little boomerang there. Let's see, should, I don't think these uh, Sage's Staffs are yeah better than what we have. Paladin's Lance, which, honestly, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's actually real good. Probably buy that. Hang on a second. I'm trying to think. Didn't we have another lance or another spear for her at some point here? Uh, let's see. Where is it at? No. Where is it at? I thought we had another. I thought we had another spear for Jade. That we could use, unless it's actually in her inventory. Oh, Platinum Lance, there we go. Uh, yeah, 101, 106 compared to we currently have 114, so we can just go ahead and sell the Platinum Lance at this point and go ahead and buy that other one and uh, power, that, power that up. So let's do that. Uh, let's see, yeah, the Paladin's Lance. Which, demon and undead monsters, which I think we might be running into a couple demon monsters coming up. I think they're considered demons, but I could be wrong. Either way, uh, this will be worthwhile, and we can go ahead and power it up there. Uh, give that to Jade. Now, we're not going to put it on yet. Alright, armor-wise, what you got, buddy? Shields, warrior shield. Yeah, solid if we upgrade it, but nothing I really care about. Airy vest, yeah, it's just a weird item, but okay, it's there. Skirts, which apparently nobody can wear except for Veronica and Serena. Okay, I see why Serena would wear it, but I'm not sure why Veronica would wear it. Bowling dress, yeah, we don't need that. Garter, we're good on that. Okay, I think we're good on most of the stuff here. Awesome. So that means we should be able to find that... We should be able to find the girl for the side quest around here somewhere. Okay, so you're in there. I think the girl might be in like one of the buildings on towards the left, since this is just another shop with a... Uh... Oh, we already been here. Sorry that I was thinking this was a different shop, but apparently I did not remember where we were. That's right. We came from that direction. That's right. Uh, we're ignoring you for right now. I'm going to see if I can find that lady. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's see. Looking for a girl that... No, it's not you. Or I think she's going to be a slightly older lady. I mean, she's not going to be like 10 years old, obviously. So, let's keep that in mind. Let's see. I don't think it's going to be either of you. Where is she hiding? I don't think she's going to be here in the end, but you can help. Hey, I wonder where that guy that never misses his uh, mark. You know, the... Big dude. Wonder, he, wonder where he went since he was hunting the luminary earlier. Right, we don't care about you guys. I highly doubt you're the one. He's my one and only admirer. Every day I would catch his eye and he would come to drink in the meat hall. Now he's gone. Nobody so much as looks my, my way anymore. I've lost the will to flirt. Might as well just turn her into gold and be done with it. Aw, she misses her old man. I was looking at her all the time. 
strange relationships. Where is this girl? You're a kid, so you're not what I'm looking for. Nope, not you. You? I'm running away from your pen. Huh. I don't think they really care about turning a cow into gold, but they might. Who knows? Far too curious. Uh, the kid's fine. He'll survive with a little bit of curiosity. Alright, so I'm not sure where this lady is, unless she works like the castle. Alright, so apparently she is at the weapon shop on the second floor. So let's go do that. I didn't even think about the second floor of the uh, shops here because, frankly, I kind of forgot they existed. Oh, I thought she was going to be an older lady, but if this is her. What's that, mister? You're looking for a lady called Lillian? My name is Lily. Is that close enough? I'm only joking, I know exactly who it is you're looking for. Lillian is the name of my mama's mama. Are you a friend of hers? There you go. It's a letter from my grandmama. I'm sorry, mister, but she will not be able to read it. She she isn't here anymore, you see. She went to the world see, she went to see the world tree. I mean she passed away. Her story was a very sad one. She came from his dress, you see. One day not long before she would have graduated, it was destroyed by the monsters. They hurt her mummy and daddy and stole all their money. She had to leave the school she loved and start working home so she could Hey, the doctors who were trying to make her mummy and daddy better. Because of what she went through, she always wants me to study very hard so I can one day go to the school she loved and learn to be a lady. That's what I'm going to do. When I'm older, I'm going to go to the academy. I'll finish the studies my grandma Ma never managed to and make her happy up in heaven. But just listen to me going on and on. You don't want to hear my troubles. You just want to deliver your letter. I'm sure. Well, I cannot give it to her exactly, but I can put it on her grave the next time I go to see her. I'm sure she'd like that. Okay. So we can go back and tell the madam at the academy that, uh... Yeah, you know what? Might as well. It'll only take a few seconds to do that, so... Let's get that out of the way. And we get a recipe out of it, so... Sure. Eric's had memory loss for a couple months now. He's not gonna mind if he doesn't remember for a few more days anyways. Also, while we're here, I can pick up some uh, pick up some pearls, so that will be worthwhile. All right, lady, where are you at? There you are. Hello again, Monsieur. Do you have any luck finding Lillian and giving her the diploma? All right, so yeah, she's dead. Oh, is that so? I was too late. I remember some people's vargas were scattered far and wide after the kingdom fell. Many could not find the strength to carry on. Lillian was always. Oh, you say, a real tough cookie. She did what she had to do to make sure her family pulled through. Merci. Thank you for delivering the diploma. Now I can finally retire without no grits. Here, I want you to have this. It's the only the little thing, but I hope that it helps you on your way. There we go. We get a recipe. Twinkling tuxedos, shimmering dresses. That's the stuff we could have... Is that the stuff we could have just bought at the casino? I think that was just the stuff we could have bought at the casino, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. I mean, we can we can make it and sell it for probably not too bad, since I don't think the cost is terribly prohibitive prohibitive there. So we'll survive. Either way, let's grab some pearls and head out. All right, uh, you have the pearls. Yeah, that's the one. All right, we have... How many can we buy? 358. Um, let's do 3,000. Or 300. There we go. There we go. We are set on pearls for a little while. Let's go back to Stiffelheim now. And talk to Mr. Priest. If anybody remembers 
anything about Eric besides, you know, the old lady that turned to gold and the priest dude. I mean, it seems like everybody remembers him, and the old lady didn't seem to have a problem with them, but maybe he just doesn't like the cold? I don't know. Ah, there you are. I am glad to see you safe and well, Eric. It has been five long years since last we met. I was here five years ago? Did I used to live here or something? Not quite. The Viking raiders, who once roamed the northern seas, would often stop here to buy supplies, or to drink away their ill-gotten gains at the inn. And when they came, Eric, you came with them. Uh, I'm a Viking? <sighs> so that is why the men I sent to scour Heliodor for details of your origin would always return empty-handed. You were born here, a Viking. Not born one. Eric and his younger sister were orphans. The Vikings found them, took them in, and raised them as their own. Whether that was for good or bad, I really couldn't say. By all accounts, they treated the poor children like slaves. Then, one day, we heard rumors that Eric's sister had passed away. And though the Vikings returned, Eric never did. Stop. It has always saddened me that I was not able to help those poor children more. Perhaps if I can help you to recover Eric's memories, it might... I said stop! Ugh. I need to be alone for a while. Uh, forgive me. It was tactless of me to reveal so much so soon. Please, go to your friend. I will join you when he has had a chance to settle down. So apparently Eric's not big on the fact that he used to be a Viking, or maybe he just, uh, <clears throat> being overwhelmed with the information they gave him, so... I mean, I'd be pretty cool if I found out I was a Viking. Apparently they didn't, they didn't treat the, the kids too well, so there we go. And yeah, apparently Eric has a little sister, which I think this is the first time we hear of it. Uh, if we do Eric's interlude, we find out he has a sister in there, so I guess if you're playing the S version of the game, that's the first time you hear of it. But I decided to save the interlude for after this episode, just because, you know, very, very mild spo spoilers, like I said, so. Either way, up here, like I told you to remember, I'm sorry I ran off like that. It's just... Ah! Huh. Is that... That ship, if the townspeople's shouts are anything to go by, it is not a welcome sight. Hmm. Huh? I will take care of Eric. Please, you must hurry to the harbor. <sighs> Into your pockets, sniveling Sniffelheimers. It's time to pay tribute to the great and glorious Kildegar. All your gold belongs to us. 
Come on, you cluttering curs, let's get to work. Grab the golden statues and load them into the longboat. You doing okay over here? What were they? No, they can't have been. Ah, my head. You'll take care of Eric. Glad to hear it. Uh, yeah, we already, had, we already saw the campsite, so not terribly worried about it. Let's go ahead and see what these skeletons are all about. They're stealing the old lady statue. Great. Move it, metal-headed morons! Get the statue back to the ship! You don't want to keep Gildiga waiting! The monsters are making away with the people who were turned to gold. Could the fever be their doing? What are you looking at? Mess with us, and you'll have to answer to the great and glorious Gildiga, shining star of the Spectral Sentinels! Cease your boastful blustering, fiend! You dare disturb the peace of this fair nation? Then it is you who shall answer to us! <laughs> you think you can stop us, feeble flesh bags? You're not even worth stealing! The boss only likes two kinds of humans. Gold ones and dead ones. Let's bury them, boys! <laughs> and we got some Gildonauts. And some uh, other creatures too, I think. Yeah, Gildonauts and Gildon Britches. Uh, by the way, these guys right here, the Gildon Britches, uh, they have the other part of... What is it? Um, they have the Corsair's Cap for Eric. It's their rare steel, so... Eventually, we're going to want to grab that. Uh, for now, let's see how multi thrust does. Uh, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Hold on a wee minute. Okay, that ability kind of hurt. Fair enough. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead with a unbridled blade on Mr. Gilbert. here, get this guy out of the way since he's kind of in the middle. I, I wish they put it so Gildan Bridges is on the side, so we could have a group of Gildan Knots, but sadly, no such luck. Alright, uh, scrap metal on Gildan Bridges, get this guy out of the way. I mean, even when they die, they're still not going to, like, group up. It'd be nice if it happened, but sadly, it's just going to not be the case. Oh, well. You bastard. Alright, uh... Yeah, we'll have somebody heal up Rob momentarily for now. Just kill this guy. Yeah, you. I will break you. Yeah, these guys put up a little bit of a little bit of a fight. Nothing too terrible though. Uh, let's get Soul, and then we'll have somebody else take care of Rab momentarily here. There you go. We like you. Uh. There we go. Yeah, that little three-hit attack they do does a pretty solid chunk of damage. And it fucking paralyzes, like, all the time, pretty much. Here. Uh, let's see how you guys like the crack. Should do a solid chunk of damage. Yeah, that did plenty of damage. Nice. Alright, uh, you are still almost... Not quite dead. Um, we'll be fighting these guys as regular enemies uh, in the upcoming area, so don't worry, we'll still have plenty of chances to steal the item eventually. For now, we just gotta find a deal with this bastard. There you go. Um, yeah, let's get Hendrick nice and healed up here. Yeah, that little three hit move that pretty much has a 100% chance to carry it seems like. Or. You know, just straight up kill. Let's do some damage here. And we got plenty of interstellar leaves to revival with. 
You're gonna have the other guy pick up. Oh, Probably. Oh, I'm kind of surprised they're not doing a pet power. Huh. Maybe they're programmed to only do a pet power with... the uh, Gildan Britches. The fossil. Usually, they would just do a nice little pet power together right here, since there's two enemies pep up, but... I guess not. Oh, I'm okay with that. So it still works out better for me. Uh, let's see... Let's go, let me go ahead and sap you real fast. And I think these guys... I think these guys might be considered... Demon or Undead monsters. They might also be considered like... Um, something else though, that's the thing. So I'm kind of curious if the Paladin's Lance would actually do... Pretty good damage to them. 128, so we'd have to see how much it would do otherwise. Our triumph was never in doubt. Their companions are fleeing. After them. Over there. <laughs> Eric! They've got Eric! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! How? Why? Never mind why. They must be stopped. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> we were too slow. Oh, Eric. We are getting that boy back and we are doing it right now. Where's that priest? He'll know where they've taken him. <laughs> hmm. right, heal up and let me see about those guys real fast. Let's see. All monsters. We gotta go find the. Yo. There we go. Uh, they are. Material. Yeah, I was hoping. I was hoping they were would be under the uh, demon or undead, but now I figured they might be material since they are made out of uh, gold. There. But you got the uh, corsair's cap from the Gilded Bridges, and then you got the pirate's hat from the. Gilda not. Isn't the pirate's hat the one we've had for a while, though? I think it is. Alright, so let's go talk to the priest and see what's going on with that. Uh, you okay there, champ? Those golden fiends came out of nowhere. If you had not been here to drive them back, Stivelheim might well have fallen. Thankfully, the city is safe. But what are the people who were standing on the lookout to the west when the monsters attacked? I hope they were not hurt. Oh, you mean like Eric? Yeah, they'll be fine. You can probably guess where we're going to have to go after this. I am sorry. The creatures found us, and I was powerless to stop them taking Eric away. Please, do not be so hard on yourself, Father. It is a miracle that even you escaped with your life. When we heard that you were outside the gates when the monsters attacked, we feared the worst. Curse those sparkling scoundrels! They have run away with every man, woman, and child struck down by the fever. They just picked them up and carried them off like so much plunder. Do they mean to sell our friends, our families? But then why would they take Eric? He had no valuables in his possession, and he was not afflicted by the fever. And yet, they headed straight for him. It is almost as if they knew exactly who he was. <gasps> Wait a moment. The way they spoke, the ship they sailed in, could they be? You know, I had the very same thought. Yes, I thought maybe those things had usurped the villains, but it seems they 
are them. But how? Hmm. Those gold hungry horrors. They may look different, but we know them. We know them very well indeed. The way they moved, acted, talked. The fact that they knew who Eric was. There is no mistaking it. They were Vikings. They used to have a hideout near here, in the little cave just around the headland. I think that is where they have taken your friend. I am shocked that they turned out to be the Vikings. 100% shocked. I never would have guessed it in a million, billion, trillion years. Or, you know, like immediately. So, there we go. Yeah, so we gotta go to the uh, pirate hideout now. Um, I was gonna say something, but I forget. Oh, well. Oh, uh, that Fisher, that big buff fisherman dude with the striped shirt, he has the exact same voice actor as the mayor of Gondolia. They thought we would have noticed. But he has the same accent and everything. So that's 100% the same dude. Yeah, look, they, uh, they took the, the gates up. I guess the, I guess they took it up for their ship to come back. And their statue still has his heel. Nice. Gracias. Mucho bueno. Alright, let's go ahead and find these little bastards. And after this, we're going to get some Eric stuff happening. well to bag this one. The boss has been after him for a long time. <laughs> Let's go charging in and take care of the monsters here. Hey! What the heck are you doing here? Wait, I know you. You're that rotten luminary. You're dead right, Chief. He looks just like the picture on the wonky poster. He's the luminary, all right. I'll run up to the Gilded Hall and let the boss know he's here. <laughs> Seems you're quite the celebrity, darling. I can't say I'm not jealous. This is no time for jokes, Silvando. We're here to rescue Eric, remember? <laughs> <laughs> you think you're going to plunder our plunder? Just try it. We'll beat you blacker and bluer than the Lord of Shadows did. Just imagine the reward you'd get if you took him the luminary's head on a platter. One of those empty spectral sentinel seats could be yours. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Come on then, boys. Let's wipe ourselves a skull that's worth its weight in gold. You are the <laughs> or at least the guy in the middle is. Okay, so this could be a bit of a challenge if we're not careful. Uh, let's see how much Giga Smash does to the groups of Gildenoff on the side here. Okay, about 200, not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and revamp on Jade. Uh, this way she has a lesser chance of getting these status ailments. Dealt to us. That's nice. Hopefully they don't use that triple flash too much. And that should help us out a lot if they don't. There you go. Good block. Good block. Okay. Um, 
I'm gonna try to put you guys to sleep. Okay, this could help us out. A fair chunk. If we get all five of you to sleep. Nice. Alright, uh, let's go ahead with some kabuffs here. Uh, yeah, I'll start buffing up. So it's again. These guys will put up a pretty solid fight. I don't think Quarter Slash will light these guys up, and if it does, well, I'll be upset. Okay, good. They still stay asleep. Awesome. Jade, you're doing pretty good there. Uh, revamp again for round two. Alright, you guys stay asleep. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead with... Infinite Wisdom for Rad, that would be this extra stat boost for himself there. Yeah, that's the good stuff. You guys stay asleep, thank you. Alright, uh, let's go for another the buff here. This way we have the nice physical stuff going on. Perfect. Cool. You're set. Uh, let's go ahead and start multi-thrusting Mr. Guild and Britches here. Alright, so that's doing about 110, 120 per attack right there, so that's not too shabby. Okay, about 200 each. So I think they might be... I think they might be uh, reasonably weak to... Thunder. So let's try out the uh, Storm Spirit here. Ooh, that did plenty of damage. That was nice. I will break you! Come, come up! Okay, that's less than nice, but okay. Uh, let's go ahead with a... Scrap metal. Scrap the metal! Put this guy down. Okay, so his defense is slightly down. Yeah, I don't think the extra, like, 1% debuff right there is enough to get that extra damage on it. So they're probably weak to, like... Bastard. Alright, uh, let's go ahead with... More sapping here. There you go. Alright, good stuff. Uh, let's go ahead with some Axes of Evil on the two groups over here. Get wrecked. Okay, so, go back to the Paladin Lance real fast. Yeah, that did slightly more with the extra defense down. But I think the... Well, I think they're actually weak to lightning, it seems like it is. Nice chunk of everything there. I was hoping for a drop since, you know, there's a lot of them. Sorry to leave you stewing in there, laddie. They didn't hurt you, did they? Well, you're safe now. Let's head back to Sniffelheim. The priest's worried sick about you. Hi. Something is still not right. Eric. What did those fiends do to you? I was... here. And they were... Yeah. So... she must be... I've... gotta go. What was all that about, hmm? Come on, darling. We'd better get after him. Right, I need to check something real fast, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And next episode, we'll go after Eric and see what is happening with his, um, with his memory loss situation. So next episode will probably just be a shorter episode, like 20-30 minutes uh, for for the scene there, because I think it's about a 15 minute scene-ish. And then, yeah, Eric's going to get his memories and skills back without spoiling too much, obviously. Um, and we'll take care of all that, and the next episode we'll start the actual dungeon. So, ne or, no. so next episode will be about 20-30 minutes long with 
primarily just getting Eric's stuff back, and then after that we'll go towards the Eric's interlude, and then after that it'll be the Golden Hall. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.